Member for Prince George Wilmount. Very much. Yesterday, the finance minister had the audacity to stand up and try to defend her record inflationary deficits by talking about cuts. Well, let's talk about a cut that's happening right now. That literally means that people in our province are at risk of losing their vision. Christina Watts, facing the very real threat of losing her sight, expresses the deep despair that people are feeling, and I quote, it was extra disheartening to watch the budget announcement with every, where everyone will get the health care they need and sitting here with this notice in my lap about the treatment program that I need being cancelled, end quote. As we speak, there are thousands of British Columbians that are terrified that they will lose an essential health care service that could jeopardize their vision. So will the Premier get up today and ensure that the program that is underway today will continue uninterrupted and that the decision that is causing such anxiety will be reversed? Minister of Health. Uh, thank you very much, Honourable Speaker. And uh, the honourable member knows, because uh, she's a former minister of health, that our health care system is organized and co-managed in many respects with doctors. The changes in the discussion that she's talking about was initiated by the doctors of BC. Her criticism was for the doctors of BC, if, if she has criticism, and the ophthalmo ophthalmological division of the doctors of BC. We will continue to support people getting needed retinal services in BC, full stop. Member supplemental. Well, what I can assure this minister of is that when people are thinking they are at risk of losing their vision, it is time for the government to stand up, step up, and say that will not happen on our watch. So again to the Premier. The, P the Provincial Health Services Authority, their budget has ballooned by $1.1 billion, an increase of 540 per cent, and yet people who have a particular treatment have been told that those services will end. Will the Premier get up today and ensure that the services and treatment continue as they are today? Minister of Health. Uh, those services will not end. I said it clearly in the answer to the first question. I say it now. Honourable Speaker, we have unprecedented investments in our health care system, and they are showing success. Honourable Speaker, they are showing success. The members, can, uh, the members have had nothing to say about this. The comments of the President of the Doctors of BC, Dr. Amr Karamudin, Honourable Speaker, who, who says, Honourable Speaker, uh, that hundreds of thousands of people now have access to a family doctor that didn't. Do they support that? Do they support the LFP model, Honourable Speaker? That's change, that's action, that's progress. Do they support, Honourable Speaker, free contraception? Do they support, Honourable Speaker, the extension of the scope of practice of pharmacists, Honourable Speaker? Do they support primary care networks, Honourable Speaker? The former Minister of Health promised 159 of them. 159 of them, he delivered zero. I'm referring to the Leader of the Opposition. We have 77. I answered specifically the question of the Honourable Member. She knows. She knows. Uh, uh, Honourable, Speaker, uh, Honourable Speaker, the Member asked the question. We've answered the question, Honourable Speaker. Well, <laughs> uh, Honourable Speaker, as clearly and emphatically as we can, but they need to answer if they support what we're doing in primary care, if they support the expansion of care to people in our society, if they expose, support the reduction in surgical wait lists, do they support them or do they not?